After installation, plug in the RF generator and turn on the main switch on the back of the unit. A self-test will automatically commence. The red, blue, and green LED lights will be active. When the red and blue lights go off and the power light is flashing slowly, press and hold the Power On mode button for at least 3 seconds and until the Madeiri logo appears. The generator will automatically go into the setup mode when it is ready. Follow the on-screen instructions for connections to the generator. 1. Connect the compatible dispersive electrode pad. 2. Plug in the foot pedal to the back of the generator. 3. Attach the connecting cable to the Streta catheter and connect to the generator. 4. Place the irrigation tubing through the slot in the pump on the right side of the generator. Lay the elastic portion in the groove inside the pump with caution to avoid stretching or tension to the tubing. Connect to a chilled bag of sterile water. Verify that the clamp on the irrigation line is open to ensure proper flow. Connect the irrigation tubing to the base of the Streta catheter handle. Inspect the Streta catheter for symmetrical needle extension. Extend and retract the needles to ensure they are working properly. Insert the syringe with PRV into the balloon inflation port. Inflate the Streta catheter balloon with 25 milliliters of air through the PRV. Extend and retract the needles. Inspect needles for full extension and retraction. Push the prime button on the lower right of the generator to initiate priming of the Streta catheter. Inspect irrigation exit ports and ensure water flows through the device near the base of each needle. Push the prime button again to stop the prime cycle. Retract the needles on the catheter and deflate the balloon. Always make sure the needles are retracted and the balloon is deflated before insertion into patient and before moving the catheter during the procedure. Push the power on mode button to advance to the standby mode. Note that the generator will not allow progression to the standby mode without priming first. After patient preparation and prior to first treatment, you will again push the power on mode button to progress to the ready mode. The physician may elect to modify these suggested steps for patient preparation. Prepare the patient using standard technique for monopolar electrosurgery. Apply the return electrode pad to a cleaned and hairless area on the patient's right mid scapular area off the midline. This area must be clean and hairless to ensure proper electrical contact. Prepare the patient for a standard upper endoscopy. The patient should be placed in and remain in the neck extended position to maintain consistent measurement and treatment placement. Elevate the head of the bed at least 15 degrees to avoid aspiration of irrigation fluid. Heavy conscious sedation is recommended, but not enough to shut off gag reflex. Monitor the patient's vital signs. A gel anesthetic applied to the back of the throat may allow for less sedation. Note that during streta treatment, patient agitation can be a sign of silent aspiration. The recommended treatments are four antegrade rings in the distal LES, 5 mm apart, and two pullback rings in the gastric cardia. Endoscopic inspection, measurement, and guide wire placement confirms the location and depth of the patient's Z-line. After advancing the endoscope to the Z-line, measure the distance from the bite block to the Z-line. It is recommended to repeat this measurement three times to ensure accuracy. Record the Z-line measurement, then establish the location of the first treatment level by subtracting one centimeter from the Z-line measurement. This location should then be one centimeter above the Z-line. Use an indelible pen to mark the Z-line on the catheter. Endoscopy is performed not only to locate the Z-line, but also to document the appearance of the esophagus. The physician should check for evidence and size of a hiatal hernia and any active ulcerations or erosions. If any areas of active esophagitis are evident, they should be healed prior to performing streta. Endoscopic photo documentation of the LES should be performed before and after the streta procedure. Photos should include the cardia in retroflex, the LES, and the larynx. Insert the guide wire through the endoscope into the pylorus. 
Then remove the endoscope, leaving the guide wire in place. Thread the proximal end of the guide wire through the tip of the catheter. With the generator in the ready mode, the catheter is advanced down the guide wire to a position one centimeter above the Z-line for treatment level one. Placement is confirmed versus the bite block. Attach the suction to the catheter. Like all medical procedures, stratotherapy is best undertaken with military precision. There are important steps to remember. 1. Position the catheter at the proper treatment level. 2. Inflate the balloon and extend the needles. 30 milliliters of air is drawn into the syringe with PRV attachment and inserted into the port on the stratocatheter. The syringe is depressed to inflate the balloon until the PRV releases excess air. Remove the syringe and then extend the needles to the full extent. 3. Observe impedance. After extending the needles fully, retract needles to the treatment position. Impedance readings are then displayed on the generator screen. Optimal impedance readings between 100 and 200 indicate proper placement of needles and contact with tissue. 4. Once impedance readings are within range, press the foot pedal once to initiate RF energy delivery. 5. Monitor temperatures and impedance and adjust if necessary. High or rising impedance over 250 may indicate poor needle contact and may be corrected by extending needles to their full extent to seat needles deeper in tissue. If impedance rises above 1000 ohms, needles will shut off for the remainder of the one minute treatment cycle. Low impedance readings of under 100 indicates needle contact with the guide wire. You should attempt to reposition the guide wire. Tip temperature readings will gradually rise to the target temperature of 85 degrees. If the tip temperature gets higher than 100 degrees on any particular needle, that needle will shut off for the remainder of the one minute treatment cycle. Note surface temperature readings on the generator screen. Optimal readings should slowly rise up to 45 degrees. If the surface temperature reaches above 45, the respective readings will turn yellow. This is a warning that surface temperature readings are nearing the shutoff limit of 50 degrees. To prevent surface temperature shutoff, use the syringe to reduce balloon pressure 1 to 2 cc's to allow additional irrigation to cool the surface. You may also increase irrigation flow. An audible beep will sound, signaling the automatic end of a one minute treatment cycle. Six. After the one-minute treatment cycle is complete in the antegrade levels, perform this between treatment regimen. Retract the needles and deflate the balloon. Withdraw the catheter into the proximal esophagus. Rotate 45 degrees to the right. And then advance the catheter down the guide wire to the desired depth for the next treatment level, as measured against the bite block. If resistance is experienced while pulling the catheter back, Release suction and then re-establish suction prior to the next treatment. Always make sure that suction is off before advancing to the next treatment level. Note, use the shaft of the catheter to rotate, not the handle. 7. Reinflate the balloon and extend the needles. After reviewing temperatures and impedance, the foot pedal is depressed and a second treatment is performed establishing the first complete antegrade treatment ring. Repeat this sequence to create three more rings, five millimeters above the Z-line, at the Z-line, and five millimeters below the Z-line. Be sure to use the between treatment instructions after each treatment in the antegrade levels. Note that the arrow on the screen directs you to the next treatment location. Always retract the strata needles and deflate the balloon after the one minute treatment is complete. Moving or attempting to move a strata catheter with the needles extended or balloon inflated may result in unintended tissue damage. Proceed to the retrograde treatments at levels 5 and 6. First, remove the pressure relief valve from the syringe. It is not necessary for the final two treatment levels. Note that the guide wire will also be removed after advancing into the stomach for level 5. For treatment level 5, 
advance the catheter into the fundus of the stomach. At this time, remove the guide wire, then inflate the balloon with 25 milliliters of air, and remove the syringe. Pull the catheter back slowly until resistance is felt. Extend the needles, check temperature and impedance, and depress the foot pedal to initiate the first treatment at this level. If impedance is high, attempt correction by more fully extending the needles. At the completion of the first treatment cycle at this level in the gastric cardia, retract the needles. Advance the catheter into the fundus of the stomach. Rotate 30 degrees to the right. Then, pull the catheter back to the identical treatment level. Extend the needles and repeat the treatment. Then, repeat this process again but at 30 degrees to the left of the initial treatment. For treatment level 6, retract the needles and advance the catheter again into the fundus of the stomach. Deflate the balloon to 22 milliliters and again pull the catheter back slowly until resistance is felt. This should place the needles above treatment level 5. At the completion of the first treatment cycle at this level in the gastric cardia, retract the needles, advance the catheter into the fundus of the stomach. Rotate 30 degrees to the right, then pull the catheter back to the identical treatment level. Extend the needles and repeat the treatment. Then repeat this process again, but at 30 degrees to the left of the initial treatment. Following completion of six levels of treatment, the balloon is deflated and the catheter is removed. An endoscopic inspection of the treatment area should confirm safe delivery and completion of strata therapy. Disconnect the strata catheter and dispose of the device. Follow the shutdown procedure outlined in the generator operator's manual. Let's review the treatment levels and steps for a complete strata therapy procedure. For the antegrade treatments, position the catheter one centimeter above the Z-line at level one. Attach suction. Inflate the balloon, then extend the needles. Observe temperatures and impedance. Depress the foot pedal to deliver treatment. Monitor temperatures and impedance and adjust if necessary. After a one minute treatment cycle is complete, retract the needles, deflate the balloon and remove the suction. Withdraw the catheter into the proximal esophagus and rotate 45 degrees to the right. Advance the catheter back to level one. Attach suction. Inflate the balloon, then extend the needles. Observe temperatures and impedance. Depress the foot pedal to deliver treatment. Monitor temperatures and impedance and adjust if necessary. After a one minute treatment cycle is complete, retract the needles, deflate the balloon, and remove the suction. Withdraw catheter into the proximal esophagus and rotate back to center. Repeat this sequence to create three more rings, five millimeters above the Z-line, at the Z-line, and five millimeters below the Z-line. Be sure to use the between treatment instructions after each treatment in the antegrade level. Proceed to the retrograde treatments at levels five and six. First, remove the pressure relief valve from the syringe. It is not necessary for the final two treatment levels. Note that the guide wire will also be removed after advancing into the stomach for level 5. For treatment level 5, advance the catheter into the fundus of the stomach and remove the guide wire. Then inflate the balloon to 25 milliliters and remove the syringe. Pull the catheter back slowly until resistance is felt. Extend the needles. Observe temperature and impedance. Then depress the foot pedal to deliver the first one minute treatment cycle in this level. At the completion of the first treatment cycle at this level in the gastric cardia, retract the needles. Advance the catheter into the fundus of the stomach. Rotate 30 degrees to the right. Then pull the catheter back to the identical treatment level. Extend the needles and repeat the treatment. Then repeat this process again, but at 30 degrees to the left of the initial treatment. For treatment level six, retract the needles and advance the catheter again into the fundus of the stomach and deflate the balloon to 22 milliliters. And again, withdraw the catheter slowly until resistance is felt. This should be above treatment level five. 
extend the needles and deliver the first treatment cycle in this level. At the completion of the first treatment cycle at this level in the gastric cardia, retract the needles. Advance the catheter into the fundus of the stomach. Rotate 30 degrees to the right. Then pull the catheter back to the identical treatment level. Extend the needles and repeat the treatment. Then repeat this process again, but at 30 degrees to the left of the initial treatment. Once all treatments are completed, it is important to follow these instructions for generator shutdown. 1. Press and hold the power on mode button for at least 3 seconds until the display turns off. 2. After the display turns off and the green light flashes slowly, it is safe to shut off the main switch on the back of the unit. 3. Disconnect all equipment. 4. Dispose of the Streta catheter and single-use accessories. 5. Clean the cables and generator per instructions in the operator's manual. Studies have shown that Streta therapy is an effective treatment for reflux in well-selected patients. Streta therapy results in decreased tissue compliance, fewer transient lower esophageal sphincter relaxations, or TLESRs, and fewer reflux episodes. Consult the IFU provided with your Medary RF generator for troubleshooting instructions. To download PDFs of clinical studies, go to strata-therapy.com. For more information, consult the instructions provided with your Strata catheter and Medary RF generator.